Absolutely. Uh, so TechRend is uh, a private business incubator, uh, which means that uh, we are funded by private individual money. We're not uh, owned by any large corporate, which is the case with many other incubators here in, here in Bangkok and in Thailand. And uh, TechRend has been around uh, in Bangkok actively incubating companies since 2015. So uh, three, three and a half years approximately right now. And uh, basically we consist of an international team of uh, partners. Uh, we have people, myself from Sweden, we have uh, uh, Americans, Russians, uh, and so forth, also part of our team. So we try to bring in uh, our international experiences from different uh, types of entrepreneurial ecosystems, whether it's in Silicon Valley or in Sweden, and bring that knowledge and experience uh, to this region. How's TechGrad different from all the other incubators out here? Mm -hmm. uh, that that's pretty much goes back a little bit to my, uh, to my last answer, actually, that uh, we have this international experience, this international mindset, and that's kind of set us apart uh, to a large extent from, uh, well, if you want to call them competitors, if you will, but uh, uh, a lot of the other incubators here in Thailand also. So that's why we are a very attractive option because uh, uh, we know what works in, in other regions, in other successful startup uh, hotbeds around the world, and uh, uh, we may want to make sure that uh, this region um, gets the same, uh, uh, gets the same uh, type of uh, best practices implemented. Okay. Um, I, I, most of these incubators we've uh, come across, they usually have batches. And uh, I was told that you don't have batches. Mm -hmm. What is the application process like? Mm -hmm. uh, this is something that has uh, changed a little bit uh, going into 2018. Uh, because now what we're doing now, we have uh, uh, an acceleration program where we, just, where we actually do have batches. Uh, and we just finished uh, last month uh, the first batch of that acceleration program. So when it comes to acceleration, we do have batches, but not for incubation. Uh, and uh, now also the reason that we wanted to start with acceleration as well is that uh, we kind of wanted to pre-test the stars that we're going to potentially work for for incubation. And then basically you have acceleration, which is a very intense eight-week program. And then if you pass the milestones and what we want to achieve and what we want to see from them, uh, then, uh, we, uh, then we basically allow them or give them a green light for incubation based on that. So, so that is sort of like uh, an additional approach to it. Uh, and the other approach to it is basically working as we have been working before. It's sort of like be very sort of selective and uh, make individual sort of uh, uh, selections rather than select uh, batches consisting of uh, five to eight companies or whatever it might be. For, for somebody uh, who doesn't know much about incubators, what would be the difference? How would you differentiate? Uh, what is acceleration and what is an incubator? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm glad you asked because uh, that's one of those terms that sort of get confused easily. Yeah. And uh, there, there's many sort of meanings and definitions of that thrown around. Um, and also, uh, what, uh, what, we, what we see is that uh, acceleration is something that happens at the very early stage. This is how you sort of get going. This is uh, how you sort of learn how to do things, how it give you sort of the toolbox to be able to grow further. Uh, so we see acceleration as something that happens uh, pre-incubation. And then incubation is that, okay, so then you have a little bit of an idea about what you're doing. You have sort of like gotten off the ground a little bit and then you're incubated and then you're sort of taking the next step. Uh, and for our, uh, for basically in our setup, it's like an 18 month process. And whereas at the end of that 18 months, uh, 18 months, yes, yeah, uh, a year and a half. And then at the end of that year and a half, at the tail end, then you should be ready to have a proper Series A funding round. Uh, 